There are a few YouTubers that have fallen from grace harder than Paul's ego. At the height of his success, he was a co-host of The Drunken Peasants, and was widely liked by fans for his witty banter and grilling of asshole guests. In particular, episode 166 was highly acclaimed for the brutal dressing down of Brett Keane, and is generally considered the best of the series. Today, his streams are exercises in misery and anger, accomplishing nothing productive. He is consumed by his hatred of the Democratic National Committee and Vosh, allowing it to push aside all other rational thoughts. This has resulted in a significant decline in the quality of Deep Frat Fried, which has made many openly wonder how TJ and Scotty can still stand to be in his presence. Arguably the lowest point of this came during an April 2006 21 stream, where TJ finally snapped and chewed out Paul for repeating the same Vosh derangement syndrome derived talking points. So how exactly did this happen? The decline can be directly traced back to a June 4th, 2020 debate between Vosh and Paul Zico. Simply put, Paul got his ass handed to him. He came across as irrational, bitter, and holding his positions based on spite rather than reason. Because he was. In the aftermath of that debate, Paul Zico slowly began to unravel and became more unhinged. He became obsessed with holding all of the opposite political positions as Vosh, often to the detriment of rational thought. His lowest point came on June 16th, 2022, when he falsely equivocated between Ukraine and Russia and implied Ukrainians can accept Russian rule. A rule, by the way, that is dominated by rapes and murders on a scale that dwarfs anything the Ukrainian army has done. In that moment, Paul Zigo the leftist became Paul Zigo the fascist appeaser. At this point, it seems unlikely that Paul's ego will ever mentally recover from his failure against Vosh. His hatred of Vosh and the DNC is all-encompassing, all-consuming. He bans anyone and everyone from his chat who annoys him, which is pretty much everyone since he's such an obnoxious, unlikable asshole. It is truly sad to see a once-mighty YouTuber fall to such depths because of a single failed debate. But unfortunately, the conclusion is now certain. Paul's ego has become Brett Keen. He, like Brett Keen, lashes out at someone who does not care about him and has a far bigger audience than he ever will. It's like the old saying goes, you either die the hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become Brett Keen.